start to notice is the space between our day so far and coming into our yoga practice. So we just allow the breath to start settling down, right? Just some nice even evening out of the breath, inhaling and exhaling. That's one of the best things that yoga gives us the opportunity to do is to just take a moment to notice. And now let's notice as we exhale deeply, belly button to spine, release, releasing anything that you do not want. And then inhaling slowly through the nose, notice as the breath comes in through the nose, goes past the heart and deep into the belly the space in between and then the same thing as you exhale belly button to spine observe the breath all the way as it comes up and you exhale so just go through that a couple more times on your own just thinking about that the parts that we usually miss the arms so with the palms turned out exhale and then observe once again where are your arms going as they start to come up 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 and what happens just before the fingertips touch and then turning the palms out exhaling down okay, so inhale up What's happening with your shoulders when you start to move into this? What are your arms feeling and the spaces in between? Exhaling down. And just go through that two more times, really taking the breath deep in, keeping the mind focused on everything that's changing, moving, adjusting. And after your next exhale, just come back to mountain pose and let your breath return to its normal pace. Inhale and exhale. Now this is a wonderful pose for thinking about the space in between. We're doing cats and cows, hands to the thighs, knees and hips are soft, right? And we start kind of rounding forward, exhaling. And then as we inhale, observing the hips, the spine, the shoulders, and the heart as you gaze up into cow and what's happening as you round into cat. So a very familiar move with a just a lot of focus, a lot of attention right now. Inhale and exhale. And notice all the spaces in between moving from cat And the next time you're rounded forward into your cat, just hold here. Breathe into that space in between your shoulder blades. And then roll your hands up, your legs, shoulders back and down as the feet start to really press into the earth here. Right? As you straighten your legs, you notice that your feet come more into contact with the earth. So we're going to do little crescents now. The moon is in waxing crescent today. So we're going to be a little waxing crescent moons here. Arms overhead, take your right uh, wrist yeah, in your left hand. Okay, arms are by the ears. Now the feet are super pressed down. Inhale and exhale, tilt to the left. So with that little extra pressure on the wrist, you get a nice stretch in the right. And come on up and switch your hands. So you're holding your left wrist in your right hand as you tilt to the right. 
and we're going to go up and tilt two more times each side on your own, noticing the whole movement, right? It's not just straight up to crescent. There's a lot that goes on on your way. Even as you come up, a lot happens. And then after your second uh, round by yourself, arms overhead, inhale. And we're going to exhale, right arm back, left arm forward, trying to keep the hips straight, uh, straight ahead. And inhale up. And then twist to the left with the arms straight, hips forward and up and just twist. So we're keeping this simple so that the mind can be observing what's going on. And the next time you twist to the left, taking your time, you'll be even. Bring the arms overhead, and then with soft knees and soft hips, we're going to float down. And then just float on up, noticing how the feet press into the earth, press down to lift up. And two more times like that, just down. And up, how does your spine feel when you go down and as you lift up, what's happening? What muscles are getting engaged? What's helping you do this? And now we're gonna go down and hold, opposite hand to opposite elbow with the head hanging and just gently rag doll it out. Just move around. Good to release at the end of the day, right? Maybe there's been some sitting going on or gardening, who knows? Maybe you walked a lot. Just release everything. And then bring your hands to your legs with your chin tucked. Roll up, roll up. And shoulders back and down. Notice what's happening as you return to mountain pose. Inhale and exhale. All right. How's everybody doing? We're coming to the back of the mat. Good? All right. So is this like little um, mindfulness? Can you feel things that you tend not to pay attention to? Right? Do you feel different? A little bit? Okay. All right. So we're going to uh, come to the back of the mat. Inhale and exhale here. And let's take a big step forward to warrior one. So right leg forward, left foot is down, right knee over the right ankle, and turn toward your uh, right leg, okay? So we're gonna inhale the arms long, extend the spine, and then take the arms overhead. We're in warrior one here. Inhale and exhale, all right? Now turn your palms out, straighten your front leg as you bring your arms down to the sides here. I'm going to turn this way so you can see it better, right? The leg is straight and then you come back into warrior one and arms out. So we're bending and straightening the leg, arms up and down, and we're staying aware of all the spaces in between, Bend and, bending and straightening and arms up and down. And then the next time you come into warrior one, you're just gonna stay here and take a big step back, arms down. All right, ready on the left with that, left foot forward, left knee over the ankle, right foot is at an, um, is at an angle, your body is facing over your left leg. The first thing we do is draw the arms up and put some length in the spine Keeping that length, draw up tall, so we're not collapsing into the lower spine here. Turn your palms out and straighten your leg, and then palms up, bend the knee. 
out and up. And just keep going a few more times, out and up. Noticing everything that's going on in this down and up, bending and straight. And then taking it uh, back to warrior one and a big step to the back of the mat. Arms down, inhaling and exhaling. All right, so that's warrior one. That's nice and warmed up now. Let's go ahead and do a little chair. So you're still at the back of your mat. Your feet are hip width distance apart. You're sitting the hips back, tucking under what has started to happen in your feet? Well, your toes just got softer because you're, you're sinking more into your heels, right? Arms come up, sit a little deeper, arms by the ears perhaps, you're in chair. And then just notice what happens as you lift up, feet are pressing into the earth, inhale, exhale your hands down by your side, Come on back into chair. So you've all been here many, many times before in chair, right? So we can just quiet the mind and notice. Standing tall, arms down. And just go in and out of your chair two more times, noticing all the changes that take place as you go into chair and as you come out of it. Ah, after your second round, you're coming back into your mountain pose and finding the breath. Now we're gonna float the arms up and again, noticing the whole way down, swan dive. We're gonna bend the knees and hips, whatever amount is necessary to get the hands to the floor and walk forward, coming into a knee down plank. So everybody's knees are down right now. Fingers are spread wide. Um, Wrists are under the shoulders. Okay, sometimes I forget what things are called, but okay, I'm glad you guys know. Inhale and exhale. Now from here, we're going to raise the knees into a knee up plank and lower the knees. Again, focusing on what happens as we raise the knees and what happens as we lower. If that's too intense for you right now, just raise one knee and lower that. Raise the other knee and lower that. So either way gives you an opportunity to really notice what goes on in and out of this move. And we'll come back, meet back in knee down plank. Find downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale. And take a couple of breaths here, just noticing our dog, noticing our feet touching the mat, the hands touching the mat. Inhale and exhale and start walking your hands back to your feet. What happens there? And float up, reverse swan dive, arms out, Palms touch, hands come heart center. Okay, we're gonna go back to plank. We're not gonna spend as long there. Inhale the arms up, exhale swan dive, notice, and then walk forward. You've had an opportunity to be knee down, knee up. Take whichever plank you want right now and just feel the plank. Notice what your core is doing. And then find your way to downward facing dog, adjusting the feet as necessary. Bend one knee and then the other. Hold one heel down. 
and then switch. And then both heels up, knees bend, hips go back and up, legs straighten. And bring both knees down, sit off to the side. Oh, and just find your legs forward. Shake up the arms, give the arms a chance to just release a little bit. Inhale and exhale. Oh. How's everybody doing? Are we Hi. good? Are we good so far? Okay. All right, so um, we're going to do a little bit of uh, circling. So just go ahead and cross at the, uh, cross your legs. I almost said cross at the ankles, but I kind of never have my ankles stacked. I always have my legs one in front of each other. Whatever's most comfortable for you. And if you don't even like having your legs crossed in any way, you can have them straight. So this is a gift to all the birthday people last week, this week, and soon to come. On my birthday, I always do this move. I just, I just love it. Spine nice and long. Inhale, exhale forward, and you go to the right, back, to the left, and forward. And then you can start to notice what is happening in your body as you make these circles. And the next time you're forward, hold and make your circles in the opposite direction. And the next time you're forward, just hold and then float back up to seated. Inhale and exhale. All right, so a nice little um, break there, right? Before we head into some uh, serious core moves. So let's go ahead and bend the knees, bring the feet hip width distance. We're gonna be rolling down, roll down. I hope everybody can see. The knees are bent, the feet are on the mat, okay, and just go ahead and take your right leg straight up, we point up, flex the foot, and take the leg down, the heel is two or three inches off the mat here, point up, flex down. So this is a good place to notice, like all this space in between, it's not just up and down, there's a whole lot going on in the middle. Point up, flex down. We're doing one leg, so we have the bandwidth basically to notice this move because we're not struggling so hard. And the next time your right leg is up, just hold it up and then bring the right foot down. We're gonna go same thing on the left. Left leg straight up, toe is pointed. Flex your left foot, flex down, point up. Flex down, point up. This is a nice uh, hip opener too, right? It's definitely good for the hips. And the next time your left leg is up, just hold it there, bend your knee, bring your left foot down, and let your legs open and close. Gentle butterfly wings here. So we're going to do this with two legs with the option to return to one leg. Okay, and that is between you and your spine. So we're not gonna struggle and force ourselves to do two legs if the spine is 
arching crazy or very uncomfortable. So go ahead and sit on your hands. Both legs up with the toes pointed. Flex your feet. We're going to do it one time so you can see if double leg is for you tonight. And start to bring both legs down until both heels are two inches off the mat and bring the legs up. If you decide both uh, the double legs is for you tonight, do double legs. If you decide single leg, you're going to do two right, two left. Okay? So we're going to take the legs down nice and smooth and up nice and smooth. It's slow. That's part of the whole point here. Flexing the feet down nice and slow. Pointing the toes up nice and slow. And we're going to do two more. Flexing down nice and slow. And pointing up nice and slow. And one more. Flexing down nice and slow. And oh, pointing up nice and slow. Knees in and rock from side to side. All right, anybody starting to feel that in your core? Starting to feel a little bit of core work there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I see that feet wiggling. All right. So we're going to just change the tempo now. The left foot comes down. The right leg goes straight up with the toe pointed. Okay. Flex your right foot. We're taking it down one, uh, one quarter of the way. And stop. Take it down another quarter of the way and stop. Take it down till your heel is two inches off the mat. And then smoothly but slowly bring it up. Okay, we're going to call that thirds instead of quarters this time. Flex your foot down one third of the way. Down another third of the way. Heel two inches. Slow and smooth up. Now we're going to reverse that. So we're going to go smoothly and slowly down. One move. And then pointing the toe, come up one third of the way. Another third of the way up. And all the way up. Flex the foot, smooth down. Smooth and slow. Point the toe up one third. Up another third all the way up and hug your right knee in. Bring the right foot down, left leg comes up. Left foot is pointed, then we flex and we come down one third, down another third, down till the heel is two inches off the mat, point the toe, smooth and slow, rise up. Notice what's happening. In between, down and up. Flex the left foot, down one third. Down another third. Heel two inches, point your toe. Smoothly up. Now we're gonna reverse that, so flex your foot. Smooth and slow down. Up one third. Up another third. Up all the way. Flex. Smooth down, up one third, up another third, up all the way. Uh, do we need to do that one more time? Smooth down, let's make sure, yeah. And up, 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 left knee in. I kind of lost track, but if we did extra, it's better than not doing enough, right? Both knees in, rock side to side. Yeah, I know you all agree with that. Okay. All right. So now we're going to get the obliques here. So the um, arms, let's have them out in a T with the um, palms face up here. And take your knees to tabletop. And then just let your legs come over to the right. Oh, in the center. And over to the left and center. Now we're going to the right, extend the legs, knees in, 
and center to the left. Extend the legs, knees in and center. So you can do either version of that, just side to side or leg extension. If you're doing leg extension, as you go to the right, try extending your legs, smoothing out that motion. Coming back, as you go to the left, extend the legs. So it's just smoothing out the motion, going right to left, either extending the legs or not. Your shoulders stay on the mat, your arms are long, that's helping keep you steady on the mat. Right to left. And the next time you're over to the right, just hold here, just for fun. And then bring it in and to the left, hold here. Who could have more fun than that? Bring it in, double knee squeeze, and rock side to side. Ha! Huh. Okay, we are done with that. We're going to roll up to tabletop. You can either roll off to the side, or you can get a little momentum going here and roll over your knees. Either way, we're meeting in tabletop. <sighs> Inhaling and exhaling. All right, so in honor of yesterday's downpour, and by the way, here in the um, lovely, what part of Centerville is this? The northern part of Centerville. We had almost two inches. Yeah. <laughs> so we had like two inches of rain. Okay. Um, we are going to do a little bit of rainbow. All right. So let's take the right leg back, tuck the toe, and press through the heel, roll over the foot just a couple of times. Get that nice little foot massage going. And then press your heel back and hold. And come back to center. Now take your right foot off to the right, make a big rainbow right foot to the left. And up and over, right to left. This is another good place to notice, like we're not just going, oh, there's my foot on the right, there's my foot on the left. What's happening in this whole movement here? Whew. And the next time your right foot is over to the left, keep it there, look under your um, left arm, see if you can spot your toes there. Bring your right leg back up, knee down, Left leg back, we're going to roll over the foot a few times, press through the heel, roll over the foot. Press back through the heel and hold. Center yourself, take the left leg out to the left, up and over to the right, and just keep going, being very mindful about all the changes, all the shifts that take place as you move from one side to the other. And the next time your left foot is over to the right, just hold it there and try to kind of look around, see if you can spot that foot behind you. Left leg back, left knee comes down. Okay, we just loosened up the hips a bit. We're going to just prime them for child's pose. So walk the hands two steps forward. Take the hips back and forth a few times. And then when you feel ready, find your very comfortable child's pose. Forehead is supported. All right. 
right, and we're gonna find a way to wiggle the fingers and release the wrists. So that could either mean just bringing your hands in closer or even putting your hands back towards your feet, but find a way to wiggle your fingers, rotate your wrists, and then we're floating forward and into downward facing dog. So just float your way, notice everything that's going on as you find your way to downward facing dog. couple of breaths here and then find a fun way to get your feet to your hands so you might just take a nice little walk right you might take a couple of big steps you might take a few bunny hops however you want to get there come to the top of your mat hands to the thighs hips back look up what happens to your hamstrings when you do this right look up your hips are back you might really be feeling them right now. Exhale, float down. And we're gonna reverse swan dive, pressing down strongly, arms out and up, palms touch. And hands come heart center. And release. All right, so I think a lovely um, low crescent lunge with a twist to each side would be a great uh, addition to our sun salutation this evening. So let's go ahead and take the feet hip width distance apart. Find the breath. Float the arms up, inhale, swan dive. Remember, it's not just up to down. There's a whole lot happening in between. Hands to the thighs, half lift. Hands down. Stepping back, right knee down. Low crescent lunge. Now the hands come down, one hand stays down and the other arm goes up as you twist open to one side. And then you switch. Both hands down, knee up or knee down plank. So if you're going knee up, you're gonna raise your back knee and step back. If you're going knee down, you're stepping back to knee down plank. Now here's a place where a whole lot of stuff happens, we're going into Chaturanga. So if your knees are up, roll onto the tips of your toes first. And everybody, elbows bend, strong down. Pointing the toes and lifting into a nice cobra. And release and then find your way to downward facing dog. Lots of ways to get there. Table to dog is always great. Once you get nice and even and settled in your down dog, take your right leg up, take a big step forward. This time your left knee is coming down. Assemble yourself for low crescent lunge Floating the arms up, hands down, and one hand stays down, the other arm comes up, we twist open, and then we twist to the other side, and release, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, Everybody's super engaged here, right? You don't even need your hands. All the muscles are engaged. So with your hands on the mat, your left leg takes a big step to your right foot. Half lift, forward fold, and float the arms out and up, palms touch. And hands come heart center. And release. Okay. Um, we're, we'll try the second time you can have your knee down or knee up. So to decide if you want to do knee up, we're going to do a high crescent lunge. Just now we're going to, we're going to test it out. Okay. So take your feet hip width distance. Remember, this is much more of a balanced pose. 
Slide the right leg back with the knee lifted, the heel lifted, left knee is bent, and then just like we did in Warrior One, first we extend the arms forward to put nice length in the spine, draw the arms overhead, fix the gaze. And then step forward and release. Okay, and now we're stepping back with the left foot. Okay, so you guys have done this a lot. You know you want your thighs to kind of act like they're magnetically pulling toward each other here, right? You need to be nice and steady in your balance. Arms up, steady gaze. And step forward. So your option in this um, second half of the sun salutation is high crescent lunge or knee down crescent lunge. Okay, the feet are hip width distance apart. Let's take a couple of breaths, tap into what's happening, float the arms up, notice as the arms go up. Exhale, the whole way the arms are going through space here. Hip, uh, hands to the thighs, half lift, hands down. We're starting on the left, stepping back. The heel stays lifted. Either the knee comes down or you float into a high crescent lunge. And even from here, we're going to float the hands down and twist open to one side and the other. You can bring your knee down at any time you decide that that's the better thing for you. Now we're going to step back to plank. Knees up or down, wherever your plank is right now. Of course, you know, you can do knees up, knees down, any, mix it up any way in your practice. It doesn't always have to be one or the other. And chaturanga down. Now we'll move into that cobra. Nice lift up, just noticing the space in between down and up. Release. Find your way to downward facing dog. And this time the left leg comes up, left foot forward, right knee up or down, crescent lunge, high or low. Your choice. Hands down, twist to one side, and twist to the other. With both hands down, body super engaged, big step forward with the right foot, half lift, forward fold, and float the arms out and up, palms touch, and hands come heart center and release. Okay. All right, so we're going to find the feet hip width distance apart. And, you know, um, when we balance, we're often just super concerned about finding our way into the balance, getting there and staying there. Again, we're going to do tree. And just notice what happens as you move into your tree. So the feet are hip width distance apart. The spine is nice and long, okay? And we'll start with the hands on the hips. Find a spot to settle the gaze. Take your right heel up and your right knee out and continue noticing what happens as you start to bring your right heel to your left leg and maybe the foot to the leg and then the hands to the heart. What's been happening this whole time and then release. And take a breath. Okay, so we'll do that on the other side, hands to the hips, left heel up, left knee out. The heel is either kickstanded or finds itself on the leg, above or below the knee, never on it, hands or heart center. And even as you're standing here, nice and still, are there things going on? And release. And 
we're keeping it simple, so just take one tree on each side and notice what's happening for you. Just work on your tree. Take it nice and slow. Do any add-ons if you want, but just notice what's going on in your tree the whole time. Whenever you've had a chance to finish one tree on each side, just bring your feet back down and just let your breath come back. Nice deep breaths here. Feet grounded. Mind is calm. We're going to take the legs wide. Toes pointing out. Take the arms up into a five-pointed star. And we're going to go down and up into moonflower. So knees over toes, elbows to waist, and up. And again, very simple, but making sure to notice the entire movement. Not just we're in sun, uh, we're in five pointed star, and then we're in moonflower, but what happens in between as we transition. And then the next time you find yourself in moonflower, just hold here. We'll take this to a sunflower, so come back into five-pointed star. Knees over toes as you exhale with the forward fold, cross one arm in front of the other. And float up. And exhale, sunflower down. And up. And just keep going. And the next time you're folded forward in your sunflower, just take opposite hand to opposite elbow and move around. Just let things release, nod your head yes and no. And as you take your head back to quiet, end on a yes. Start to straighten your legs and let your forearms melt toward the earth. And then release your hands, bring them to your hips, come halfway up, take a breath, and come the rest of the way up nice and slow. We're going to take a warrior two, turn the right toes forward, the left toes in at an angle, the right knee bends. Okay, we need to check the positioning of everything here. Knee over the ankle, tracking through the center of the toe, the back foot is at an angle with the outer edge of the back foot strongly into the earth and the shoulders are over the hips. The arms are out in line with the shoulders. Yeah. Arms are out in line with the shoulders. We're in warrior two. There you go. Gazing past your right fingertips. All right, we're gonna move in and out of this three times. So straighten your front leg, bring your hands to heart center, look forward, and then open. Back to warrior two. Come forward, and open warrior two. 
Notice what goes on as you come forward and what happens as you come back into warrior two and stay there calmly gazing past your right fingertips. Okay, bring your hands back to your heart, straighten your front leg and turn toward the left. We'll bring the hands to the hips, set up for warrior two on the left, making sure the knee is in the right place. The outer edge of the right foot is solid. Shoulders are over the hips and the arms are directly in line with the shoulders, gazing past the left fingertips. Beautiful warrior twos. This would make a beautiful cover for the yoga journal. This, when I see all five of you, six of you actually here, in warrior two. And we're gonna straighten, arms forward, gaze forward and open. And come back up and open. And one more time, in and open. Finding warrior two and staying here. Bring the hands to heart center, all 10 toes forward. Bring your hands to your hips and you're gonna heel toe or if you like, you can hop, whew, shake things out and come to the top of your mat. So we're back in mountain pose. Work, ready to work our way down. Inhale and exhale. Float the arms up, inhale. Noticing everything as you swan dive. Feeling the space in between, hands to the thighs, hips back, half lift, hands down, find your way to downward facing dog. Now we're going to loosen things up in this dog, let the knees go to one side, the hips to the other, come into table anytime you feel like that's the best place for you. And then everybody bring your knees down, sit off to the side. Our transition pose from up to down is seated mountain pose. So it's still, right? We're in stillness, but notice what's going on. Seated mountain. And then loosen everything up. Go ahead and bend your knees. And we'll roll down, roll down. Oh, take a nice long stretch, arms overhead, legs long. Exhale, draw the knees in and rock from side to side. We'll take the left foot down and hold the right knee in. Now take your left arm out by your side and let your right leg just open and close with the knee bent. Just Think about cleaning out that hip, releasing that hip, letting go of everything. All right, extend your left leg as much as possible. Bring your left hand to your right knee and your right hand, right arm out to the side, inhale, and then twist to the left. You're drawing your right leg over to the left and turn your gaze toward your uh, right fingertips. And as you move back through center, take your right ankle across your left thigh, flex your right foot, and come into that beautiful reclined pigeon that we love so much. Nice hip opening here. Left knee is in line with the left shoulder. Holding on to that left leg, just breathing. And then take your left leg straight up, point and flex the foot. So we're working that ankle, the calf muscle, you'll probably feel it here. 
circle the foot one direction and the other. And then go ahead and bend your left knee, bring the left foot down, uncross the right leg and let your knees kind of open and close. Now draw your left knee in, hold on. Take your right arm out to the side and let that left leg just open to the side and in. Bring it in and extend your right leg. Hold on to your left shin with your right hand, left arm out to the side and we twist. Twisting toward the right, bringing the left leg over to the right. The shoulders are grounded. The left hip is off the mat. And as you come back around, that left ankle slides over the right thigh as we come into reclined pigeon with the left foot flexed, the right knee in line with the right shoulder. Breathing into that hip. Take your right leg straight up and very intentionally point and flex the right one direction and the other. And go ahead and bend your knee, uncross, bring both feet down. And just let your spine be in neutral now. Just let everything relax. We're going to open and close the hands, wiggle the fingers. Rotate the wrists. Let the head move from right to left. All right, take a nice long inhale, extend the arms long, extend the legs long. Exhale, draw your knees in, and then bring your hands down by your side. Bring your legs to tabletop. Stay here or straighten your legs and be Burita Karani, sitting on your hands if you like. So this is, allows the blood to just flow in the opposite direction. It can get to be too much. So um, bring your feet down at any time if it's just too much blood flowing to the head for you. Observe what the breath is doing. And on your next inhale, get the breath all the way up to the tips of the toes. And exhale. As you bend your knees, bring your feet back down. Come off your hands if you've been sitting on them. And start to find a super comfortable position for your final relaxation tonight. Knees bent or legs straight, whatever appeals to your spine the most. When you're super comfortable, just let your mind go Scan your body and see if there's any points that need to release or move. Especially the face, open and close the mouth a few times. And then from a very comfortable spot that you can hold steady for a couple of minutes, take a nice inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth, release onto the earth. Inhale through the nose, 
Exhale, just surrender onto the earth. Let go of all effort and move into your final relaxation. So slowly begin to bring your awareness back to your space. Invite a deeper breath. Bring movement back to your body, wiggle fingers and toes. And on your next inhale, stretch your arms long, legs long. And exhaling, draw your knees in and give yourself a hug. Find your way over to a side and back up to a nice, easy seat. As you turn your gaze to your own good heart and your bright spirit, thank and honor yourself for your practice. And we thank and honor each other for sharing this time. Namaste. All right, if you're muted and you...